So technically, he's in my zone, this Jabberwock. Because I can't see the tiles, but I'm assuming it is because it's highlighted. So I'm going to do the one damage there. Bam! One damage! I think that's the only damage I've done so far. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Let's Play Unmatched. I'm a host, Mephri. So this game is based on a board game. I'm a big, big lover of board games. And it's also in early access. So not all of it's been released yet. They've got about four characters, but so far, it seems pretty cool from playing the tutorial. The tutorial was really boring, but the rest of the game seems like it'd be a lot of fun. So let's do a new battle. So local game setup, one versus one. So we've got Alice versus Random Hero. What I'll do is I'll random this as well. So I'll random that. So we've got Alice, we've got King Arthur, we've got Medusa, and we have Sinbad, the baddest of them all. So we'll select Random Hero versus Random Hero. I'm going to select the AI on hard, just because I feel like it's going to give me the best challenge, because my board game skills are unrivaled. But they're not, but I'm just going to say that anyway. Let's go next. So Random Map, yep, confirm. And then we've got Random Hero Human versus Random Hero AI hard, Random Map. Lots of randomness, let's go. Right, so, we're against Alice and we are Medusa, okay. Here we go. Your turn. So this is the board. Very fancy, very pretty. And we've got, what's that? Click here. So we've got Alice, so it's, uh, she can move up to two movements. She's my lead, she's got 13 health. Her special ability is when you play Alice, choose whether she starts the game big or small. When Alice is big, add two to the value of her attack cards. When Alice is small, add one to the value of her defense cards. And she also has the Jabber Walk. That has eight HP and two movements, and it is also melee. So hand size is five at the moment, and we've got about 30 cards all together in the whole deck. So let's check out Medusa really quick as well. So Medusa can move up to three tiles at a time, and she is ranged. She has 16 HP. Special ability Medusa. At the start of your turn, you may deal one damage to one opposing fighter in Medusa's zone. Okay, and she gets Harpies. She gets three of them. They all have about one HP each, which means they're pretty much cannon fodder. And they are melee as well. So let's have a look what we can do. So this is a defense card. After combat, your opponent discards one card. We've got Faint. Immediately cancel all effects on your opponent's card, which can be versatile. So that means you can use this to attack, or you can use this for defense as well. I feel like this would be better used on a defense turn rather than an attacking turn because the damage roll, or the damage value, should I say, is quite low. Then we've got Regroup, which is another versatile card. I can use it on any of them as well. I can use it on my Harpies. I can use it on Medusa. After combat, draw one card if you want the combat. Draw two cards instead. We've got the same here again, and we've got Winged Frenzy. Move each of your fighters up to three spaces. You may move through the spaces containing opposing fighters, then return a defeated Harpy, if any, to any space in Medusa's zone. So that doesn't cost me anything. I can use it anytime I want as well. And then over here, we've got Medusa only. So this card can only be used if I'm being attacked on Medusa and by Medusa, pretty much. In other words, I can't use it if the Harpies get attacked by anything. I have to just only use this on Medusa. So it says, choose starting space for your sidekicks remaining free. So I'm gonna put one here, one here, and one here. Okay, I'm kind of gonna wing this. No pun intended, even though they're winged Harpies. I'm gonna try and wing this a bit, just because I'm not really sure what I'm doing on Medusa just yet. So let's uh, go confirm. Okay, so Alice draws a card. She discards a card to boost her movement. It's a thing you can do in this game, apparently. Discard this card to boost movement again. And that's my turn. So she didn't do a lot. So I'm going to draw. So I draw a dash. After combat, move your fight up to three spaces. Another versatile card. So I can use this for attack and defense. So what can we do? What zone are you in? Is that that zone? I can't even tell. No, that's that zone there. So I can't hit this from there unless I go adjacent to it. So what I'll do is I'll put, let's see. Let's put Medusa here. Let's put a Harpy there. Put this one here to block. And I'll put this one here as a backup in case this one dies a horrendous death. Okay, so that's our movement turn. So we draw the card, we're able to move, and now we end our turn. And then I think I can attack now. So these any cards I can use to attack with anyone. So I might try and flush out some crappy stuff that they got. So I can use a regroup onto Alice to confirm attack. So hopefully we take a really good defense card off of Alice so we don't have to deal with it later in the game. Let's do this. Okay, so they play faint. 
So Faint's actually a pretty decent card because it cancels all effects on your opponent's card. As you can see, we did not get the after combat effect at all and Alice won the combat. So in other words, we flushed out a really good card for a very mediocre card. So we're going to close that. Right, and end my turn. So it's now Alice's turn. Oh god, why am I going with the camera? Now it's Alice's turn. <laughs> Off to a good start as always. So Alice has gone small, so her defense value has increased. And it's my turn again. Right, I need to try and get into Alice's zone so I can range attack her, but she's kind of blocking it off, unfortunately. So I'm going to draw a card again. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six cards. I think the maximum you can have in your hand is seven cards at a time. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure from the tutorial that's what it said. Okay, so Medusa can do second shot. I don't think I can reach though. No, I can't attack anything. So I'm going to cancel that. I think that's the cancel button there. And then we're going to confirm the movement phase. And then I think I can attack with another Harpy. I might try and flush out another card from Alice using this regroup. It's not very good anyway, so we're going to attack with the Harpy onto Alice. So Alice uses another Faint, which I kind of like because Faints are really annoying. So Alice won the combat, we close that. And I confirm my turn as over. I'm not very good at this camera, it's going everywhere. Literally like the Blair Witch Project, right here. Right here. So it's going to attack me. So I can defend if I want to, but I think I might just let him kill that. Because the Harpy only has one HP anyway, so in other words, if I try and defend with the har uh, for the Harpy, it's not really going to help me that much. So I'm going to skip this and not do any defense at all and let, it kill let him kill that. So skip. Okay, so they won the combat, so they draw two cards, which kind of sucks. I think they're trying to bait out my cards as well. I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm trying to bait out their good cards, and they're trying to bait out my good cards. But they managed to get card advantage as well on top of that. So I just won the combat. We're going to close that down. And my turn again. Right. She's proper bottlenecking this. This is really annoying. So I'm going to draw another card and move. I'm going to grab Medusa. I'm going to go all the way over here. Because I'm in her zone, so you see this like weird kind of pattern they got going on here. All, this, all these little tiles have different zones. So because I'm here, even though I'm not adjacent to her, I can still attack her because I'm ranged. So in other words, I can attack from here as well. Whereas she can't attack me unless she moves next to me because she's melee. Right, so I'm going to go for the... Should I try and bait something out again? So most of my cards are literally the same apart from the second shot. During combat, you may boost this attack. So I might confirm my turn. Well, actually, I'm going to move the Harpy there just to block off Medusa so she can't actually hit me, you know, where, whenever she wants to. It's a bit of a defense there. Cannon fodder defense. I can even block her in here. I might just do that. So I blocked her in so she can't get out unless she has a card that can allow her to move through enemies. Because at the moment, she can't pass through any enemies unless she kills them. So I'm going to confirm that turn. And then I'm going to... For my next trick, I will. I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the second shot with Medusa onto Alice. Okay, she defends. So now during combat, I may boost this attack. So at the moment, she is blocking for four. I'm doing three damage. So it means I'm not doing any damage at all because she's blocking the whole damage roll. So I can boost it using the symbols on the right here. So this one here, the opponent discards a card. That's actually pretty decent. So if I did that, that would put my damage up to six, which means she'll take two damage from me. I'm not sure it's even worth it at this moment in time. Because these cards are fairly decent. This card's not as good, but I can return a Harpy with that. So I'm just going to skip this and let her win that. Let her think she won it anyway. Let her think she won. Alice won the combat. Right. So I confirm my turn as over. It's now Alice's turn. I can't, can't control this camera. God damn camera. Okay, so Harpy's being attacked again by Alice. So I can defend here if I want to, but I think I'll just let her kill it again. She's wasting cards this way, in my opinion. So after combat move, Alice up to five spaces and change size. So she does two damage because I didn't block. Alice won the combat. Okay, so Alice just flew away. Literally just teleported out there. And she's now bigger. I just won the combat. Okay. okay. It's my turn. So now, because I got this passive from Medusa, as I do again, at the start of your turn, you may deal one damage to the one opposing fighter in Medusa's zone. So technically, he's in my zone, this Jabberwock, because I can't see the tiles, but I'm assuming it is because it's highlighted. So I'm going to do the one damage there. Bam! One damage. I think that's the only damage I've done so far. <laughs> First blood. Okay, so I think that's it. And now. I need to kind of chase this down a bit, but I don't want to chase too much because next round, he's going to do uh, extra damage on his attacks. I think it's like two plus. Yeah, it's two plus to every attack they do. So in other words, I don't want to be too risky. Otherwise, I'm going to get one shot or two shot. So I'm going to do a movement. 
Got another regroup here. They're playing really good, actually. They're making sure I can't hit them in any kind of zone here and kind of like warding me off. So the only way I can attack them if I go adjacent to them, which I don't want to do because I'm a ranged character. So my defense isn't as good as it could be. So I think I might just draw twice here. How many cards have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six cards. So I might just draw again. So I'm going to go there. No, wait. No, 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 no. Redo that. I'm going on the bottom. And I'll put you here to defend me. So you've got to move twice to get to me here. So I'm just going to end turn there. And now because I've got six cards, I might even use the Winged Frenzy to bring back something. So move each of your fighters up to three spaces. Shall I use that now or shall I use it later? Yeah, I'm going to use it now. Okay, so choose a space and reduce a zone to return a defeated Harpy. I'm going to choose here. Because then it blocks Alice from getting to me. And then I confirm that action. Oh, was I supposed to move as well? I forgot to move. Okay, I'm going to end turn because I completely messed that up. But it's cool. We're still going to win. I got this. So I'm guessing Alice moved there, picked up a card. What is she doing? Why is she running away so much? Why run from me? I'm going to draw another card. She is actually in my zone here. So if I move here, I can attack her. So I'm going to move, move this harpy over here. Just to block. And move Medusa. I think about... Yeah, I think here's good. I'm bringing this harpy over here as well. I'm going to end my turn. So I can attack Alice now or something if I want to. I'm going to use another regroup to try and get something good. So I'm going to use the harpy to attack Alice. And here we go. She can't defend anymore, so I draw two cards here. Okay, that's good to know. So she has no more defense cards left. So that means she has a lot of attacks left on her. How many cards have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got just about the limit, so I don't discard any. So I'm going to confirm that this action is over. It's now Alice's turn again. Okay. So Alice has gone smaller. So she's uh, one defense to her defense rolls. She's attacking the Harpy again. I'm not really fussed about that. But I probably could use this anyway. Yeah, but actually, because it's a Harpy card, I might as well just use it on the Harpy before they all die. So I'm going to defend that. Okay, so move each of your fighters up to two spaces, change size again. So Harpy won the combat, so I defended the whole thing. So I can move my fighter as well if I want to, but I'm going to leave her there protecting the bottleneck and end my turn. Okay, Alice is moving into Tokyo. Right. Right. Harpy won the combat, close. My turn again. So I'm going to draw another card. Haven't done that before. I'm going to move this here. I'm going to move Medusa there. It's actually risky. I'm going to keep Medusa where she is. Or should I? I don't really want to be hit by that. So I'm going to move this Harpy up to defend and move Medusa. Put that back in. Put that back in as well. There we go. Move Medusa there. And put the Harpy here instead. Okay, so that's defending that. That's defending that. And I'll turn. And then we're going to use Clutching Claws with the Harpy. After combat, your opponent discards one card. She only has about, here's like a symbol on the left here. So she used two feints already, so that means she got one left. So technically, I should be able to force her to discard a card if I attack now with the Harpy. Okay. So Looking Glass, after combat, choose two different effects. Draw two cards, Alice recovers three health, place Alice in any other space. So she's going to draw two cards and Alice recovers three health. I don't think I did much damage apart from one. Okay, I did two. That's not too bad though. Okay, I think she had to discard that faint. I'm pretty sure that's what came up on the screen. So that means she has no faint cards left anymore. Okay, so I end my turn. And then I end my turn again. So Alice's turn. She's attacking the Harpy again. Uh, I think I might just let her kill it. Yeah. So if you want the combat, choose one of the fighters in the combat and move them up to two spaces. As you can see, Alice is doing six damage because of her size. So even if I defended that, the Harpy would have died anyway. So it's kind of a waste of a card if I did that. <clears throat> so Alice is running away again. My turn. So I'm going to draw another card. I'm going to put this... I need to move that tile to attack. Or oh, I can attack from this tile as well. 
Okay, what I'll do is I'll put this here, got the bottleneck, move Medusa here so I can still attack Alice because I'm standing it in her zone in my turn. And then I should be able to do something here. I should be able to do something. I'm going to try doing Snipe. Draw one card afterwards. So I got one, two, three, four, five, wait, I've got six cards yet. Yeah, cool. Here we go. Okay, she uses a looking glass again. After combat, choose two different effects, draw two cards. So in other words, she's probably going to draw two cards and place Alice in any other space. Oh, she's recovering health, but she doesn't need to. Okay, that's cool. So, oh yeah, she took one damage from my snipe because the snipe went over the threshold of the two defense. So let's close that down. All right. We will eventually kill her. We will kill her, whether she likes it or not. Okay. So her turn, she moves again. Look at the cards she's got. She's got tons. And she's only got six cards left on her deck. We have 15 cards left on our deck. I think at, when you run out of cards, you get like a fatigue. So every time you try and draw a card, you're forced to draw a card as well in your movement or maneuver phase. You take two damage each time you do that. So in other words, we're going to win this probably by fatigue at this rate. Okay, so deal two damage to any fighter in Medusa's zone. I got draw a harpy or respawn a harpy, should I say. Let's do a winged frenzy. And bam! I'm going to put it right next to her in case I need to attack. And then I think I can move stuff as well, can't I? Wait, choose a... Wait, move each of your fighters up to three spaces. When can I do that? If I do that now and do that... I think I'm missing a phase here each time. I think I'm not moving properly. Okay, so we did that. Draw another carb. Let's walk this harpy over here. Block off the bottleneck. Keep him away from the jabber walk as well. I can put this here as well. Ready to chase if I need to. So I'm end my turn there. Yep. Okay, Alice's turn again. So she's attacking my harpy. Once again, I'm just gonna skip it because I'm not really that fast. And kill it. So, because she won the combat, she draws another two cards, which means she's definitely going to fatigue in the right now. Fatigue. Okay, draw two cards. Alice won the combat. Yep, yeah, close. Okay. She's got three cards left on her deck. My turn. So, I will draw another card. I'll put that there to block her. I'm going to move Medusa over here, where it's a bit safer, in my turn. And then I'm going to attack using one of these Harpies, or the only one I have left. Don't know what one to use. I'll just use a dash. It's pretty crap. So I attack Alice. She can't defend anymore. So she takes three damage. Harpy won the combat, so I can move my fighter up to three spaces. I think I'll just keep her where she is and end turn. Okay. And then turn again. Okay. As this turn. She's jumped. She's enlarged herself. My turn. A draw. Oh, I jump somewhere. I can only attack if I'm next to her here. It's really risky though, because she's big. So she does two extra damage on her attacks. If I move a harpy there, I'll use the harpy instead, I think. I put Medusa here, ready in case. So, say for example, I can move here to attack her here. Or I can move there to attack her there. And start I'm going to go right next to her. So I'm going to end my turn there. And I'm going to start an attack phase. Oh, no, I can't because that's Medusa only. I'll use this one instead. Bam! Here we go. Okay, so she defends this one. And she changes size again. Okay. Yep. So, her size is now small. End combat. Oh, I could have moved as well there. Completely forgot. I don't think I actually need to, to be fair. So, should be okay. So, confirm that. So, Alice's turn. I think she's going after the harpy. I could defend this. And I probably should, actually. Yeah, I'm going to defend this one. It's my last harpy. Okay, that's a good call, because otherwise she would have killed it. So now she's got to change size again. <laughs> she's changing size like crazy. So I can move this harpy as well. Um, where can I move it to? If I move it there, I might even move Medusa in for attack here. 
I got my full HP. She hasn't done any damage to me yet because I've been playing so passive. Okay, it's changed size as well. So she doesn't get a defense bonus if I attack. Okay, so I can activate my special ability onto Jabberwock because he's in my zone. So bam. Takes one damage. And then I draw another card. Who would have guessed? I move over here to attack. Uh, I'll leave the Harpy where it is. So, let's see. We're going to use a second shot. Let me boost this attack. I think Alice is really out of uh, cards in general. She's got one left on her deck. So, I'm pretty sure she has no defense cards left. Let's see if we can do it. Right, okay. She has another defense card left. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay, so it's going up to four. I'm actually going to boost this one. Um, ooh. Hello, beautiful. So, we boost it with that. goes up to seven. So, now I do three damage to her. Medusa won the combat. Close. And confirm my turn. Okay, she took another two there. She's drawing, that's why she's taking so much damage. She's fatigued herself, pretty much. So now my special ability activates on her as well. And then I can attack her twice. Or I can draw a card. I've got 11 cards left, I'm not going to draw a card. Here we go, Gaze of Stone. If you won the combat, deal 8 damage to the opposing fighter. So in other words, if I land this, she is definitely, definitely dead. If I win the combat, that is. So confirm that. Let's go for Gaze of Stone on her. Gaze of Stone! Oh my god, it's over! That's so overkill. That's 10 damage, pretty much, because you can't block plus the 8. Victory! That didn't feel like a very fair victory in a way, just because Alice literally just ran away the whole time. She did not attack. It's supposed to be a hard bot as well. I literally, I don't think I took any damage on Medusa at all. <sighs> you know how it is. When you're this good at the game, which I'm not, you just win everything. Right, so that's it for part one of our match. So, so far, the game seems pretty cool. I like it. The only thing I didn't like is Alice running around the whole time. There was barely any action apart from her pretty much killing herself at the end by drawing too many cards. But I'm going to try out some of the other characters against other characters as well and see if it's going to be the same in that aspect as well. But anyway, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Yeah. <laughs>